Welcome. Come on in for a word of encouragement. If this is your first time here, I'm Imelda. So global greetings to one and all. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Yes, I'm saving a space for you. Today, I'm doing a reflections from Proverbs 3 and 6 entitled Making Godly Decisions. But before I get started, I always like to share what I'm grateful for. This morning, I had an opportunity to get up early, early again this morning, probably at 1.45. And I was in, with the, in the presence of the Lord for a couple of hours. It's reading and Bible studying and taking notes. And it was just a wonderful time. Then I, I went right into corporate prayer with my church. And what a wonderful, wonderful way to start a Friday. Uh, today, uh, I get to join my niece, who is getting married later this month, uh, to help her with, you know, preparing for her uh, wedding photos this afternoon. So, so excited about that. I'll be doing that later this afternoon. When I get off my live here, I'm going to pop into Clubhouse. So, if you are in Clubhouse, I encourage you, if you want to find uh, ways to build a better sisterhood, uh, at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, building a Better Sisterhood is always a great platform to pop into on Friday, so I'll be doing that. Again, beloved brothers and sisters, uh, I will be doing a reflection of Proverbs 3 and 6. Before we do that, let's invite the Lord into our presence. Gracious God, I need you. We need you. Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, that today as we read your word, it'll be a teachable moment. Lord, you will personally inscribe the words onto our hearts. And we thank you, Lord, that when you ask, we will step out in bold faithfulness and share this message with others. And we will be light in this big old world. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. For your hearing, Proverbs 3 and 6. In all your ways, acknowledge God and he will make your path straight. So making godly decisions, beloved brothers and sisters, are you facing a significant decision? If you are, then look at these words in Proverbs 3 and 6. Implicit in the verse is the truth that God knows what is best for us, and he wants to guide us. So he will so we will make the right decisions, the right God-honoring decisions. When you face a decision about your future, seek God's will above all else. Make your decision a matter of prayer and ask him to guide you. If you are truly open to his will, he will direct you. He will direct you. He will direct me. He will direct us. Does this mean we should just wait around until God gives us some kind of miraculous sign or some kind of deep conviction? Hmm? No, not exactly. Not necessarily. God wants us to be practical. Do research if you need to. Understand yourself and your gifts. Seek the advice of others. Make your decision in light of God's word. God never leads us to do anything that is contrary to the Bible. Remember, too, that God often guides us only one step at a time. Yes, one step at a time. Sometimes a difficult task when you want the whole plan laid out before you. That was something I had to learn. A tough, a tough path when I was so used to just laying out a detailed plan for my life. But that is all we need to know. So don't be anxious. Beloved brothers and sisters, don't be anxious. Trust God to guide you, and he will. Again, this was a reflection of Proverbs 3 and 6. I ask that you spend time in that today and just reflect on it. And I want to remind you that I care about you and I love you, but most, most importantly, God cares and loves, about, loves you, and he walks with you. All you have to do is acknowledge him. I also like to extend my hand out and offer you the gift of salvation. If you do not know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, make today the day that you turn to the Lord. And it's really simple. All you have to do is repeat this prayer after me. Gracious God, 
I am a sinner. Please forgive me for my sins. I believe Jesus died for me, and by his blood, I am forgiven. I ask you, Lord, to come into my life and give me a new heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. If you prayed that prayer with me today and you're not sure what to do as your next step as a believer, leave me a comment down below or a direct message and I will reach out to you and pray with you and help you find a church in your community that will help you continue to grow in the ways of the Lord. Beloved brothers and sisters, until next time, be blessed. Bye now.